Hello. You okay? I'm doing great. Good. Well, yoga means union, or to come together and make whole. It's the recognition that there's no uh, separation between heaven and earth, matter and consciousness, mind and body, uh, you and I. So for me, ultimately, yoga is about relationships and the interdependency of all things. Off the Mat Into the World bridges the gap between yoga and activism. It inspires yogis to want to get involved in their local community through outreach and service-oriented projects and encourages activists to bring yoga and other modalities into their lives so that the work that they're doing is sustainable and ongoing. And so we try to work with both communities to both inspire as well as bring practical um, opportunities to stay grounded and focused in the midst of trauma, in the midst of conflict and crises, which often when you're in, when you are in activism, you go against opposition. If you're not taking care of you, you will burn out. And so off the mat tries to support, so, so, tries to provide resources in order to make that happen for people. It's a five day program. For the first couple of days, it's about the personal meaning that we take you on a process of self-exploration to explore the more shadow parts of yourself. If you're going to be working in communities where you're dealing with trauma, from alcoholism to domestic violence, you have to understand the nature of trauma, where it comes from, how it impacts the collective and the individual. If you're not willing to deal with your own trauma, then you will try to fix or change someone, coming from a place of sympathy, which is hierarchical. Whereas when you're recognizing that we all have a shadow of self, that we all have certain work that we have to do within our own self, I have to deal with my rage in order to be able to have compassion for you. I have to deal with my repressed grief in order to understand with empathy yours. Empathy being the key word. Empathy makes us soul to soul. Sympathy, again, puts me above your experience. So in Off the Mat, we take the first couple of days to really deal with the individual, to get them to confront certain parts of their own shadow. Uh, we talk about wounds, about limited beliefs, have students do all sorts of different exercises, from yoga to journal writing to dyads to chanting to dancing, it becomes quite ecstatic, um, to help people go through a process of self-discovery. From there, it gets more practical, and it moves towards conversations and uh, Again, journal writing and dyads and individual discussion to help people find ways to implement that purpose into action in the local community in ways that are sustainable, that are organized, and that uh, come from a place of integrity. Spiritual activism, <laughs> quite frankly, it's, it, it will serve the development of your own soul. Spiritual activism means choosing to get involved in social justice, in political issues, and animal rights issues, but not with the intention to create more separation. So it's not, I'm going to tell you how you need to live your life different. But spiritual activism means that you must be willing to listen, to breathe, and to be present to the human experience, not to impose a point of view, rather find a way to consciously dialogue that is respectful and meaningful to both parties with the intention to create change but not at the expense of someone else's um, life or perspective. It's about being respectful in the process of transformation. So whereas a lot of activism is like, I'm going to tell you how to live and how you need to be different. Spiritual activism, it's recognizing, you know, we're all connected. I don't want to be a part of the problem. I don't want to perpetuate separation, therefore I have to shift my conversation and attitude in order to create inclusivity. That's how real change is going to occur. Optimal health means experiencing the fullness of life, body, mind, and spirit. And what this means is that you can have the greatest diet in the world, but if you're not nurturing or nourishing your soul, there's going to be an imbalance. You can nurture and nourish your soul, but then eat an unconscious diet, and there's going to be an imbalance in that direction. So you want to make sure that everything that you're doing nurtures and nourishes your mind, body, and spirit, 
whether it's through prayer and meditation, through proper uh, and balanced exercise, and through making sure that what you're eating is sustainable, not just for you, but for the planet as well. And those three components is what's going to create an environment for true health to occur. Thank you very much. Very welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Namaste.